<laughs> oh my gosh. I'm just going to Talk about trash. Because talking, talking about, trash, about trash. Ultimate trash. <laughs> the trash is of the trash. Oh my Lord. The oh. UK government. You know, beforehand, <laughs> when people used to... You know... <laughs> I don't even know where to be because you know at least like the UK government yes there were times where it didn't make sense but at least there was some sort of class that's the word class there was some sort of maybe trust I don't know there was like there was some this sort would of, never happen under Theresa May like, yeah like this like foolishness would never it wouldn't happen. Ha- it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have happened no it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have taken place yeah because there, you're right. There's a certain level There's of There's a certain class. level of you're stuff right. she carried herself. Yeah. Now, don't get me wrong. She was another one that didn't make sense. But, I know. But she, it wasn't the blun- the blundering on her part was not this kind of blunder. This is no. like, it's just pure negligence. Yeah. It's pure disregard. Yeah. It's this, it's We're, almost like a buffoonery. Like yeah. they're buffoons. The yeah, government are. are buffoons. They are. They are. They absolutely are. They absolutely are. And... <laughs> It's just reflective of those people that, sorry, that vote for them. I saw like a breakdown um, the other day of the ages. And I think it was between 21 and 35. I think majority of people voted for Labour. Mm -hmm. And those obviously middle class, about 50 and above, most majority of them voted for Conservatives. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's it's not reflective of our age group, I don't think. It's just the... The other ones, but yeah, buffoon. Speaking about buffoon. Yeah, speaking about um, <laughs> the second buffoon. The second buffoon, yeah. Because number one is obviously Mr. I Don't Comb My Hair. Yeah. The second one is Mr. Cummings. Now, no, no, not Cummings. No, so he's third. Cummings. Yeah, he's a third one. He's a he's a buffoon. And then yeah. obviously we've got Pre- Preeti Patel. Second is is Mr. Um, Halfcock. Because Halfcock. That's what you to call him, but Absolutely. he proved today it's not half. Well, he... he, he, he said the plantain is strong he said, he said it he said it with his freaking chest oh my gosh but let's dissect like um. so this very morning like I said we're recording on Fridays it's Friday 25th of June 2021 in the year of our Lord that is where we're recording and I woke up this morning you know I haven't had a morning like this since the whole Porsche stuff happened yeah so again I woke up in the morning you know you're kind of half asleep and then you you go on the timeline yeah. or you go onto Instagram you see yeah. some information you go wait a minute yeah or did I just see it and just wakes you up completely so seeing that Matt Hancock has been having an affair yeah with his aide Gina Colladangelo I'm, tra- I'm not trying to uh, butcher her name like that BBC presenter ah! I'm That's not even another, trying to like I'm not even trying to say it with confidence. I don't have my script that I would have looked beforehand before yeah. coming on camera. Oh, so. this country always G-G. like there's just this <laughs> disrespect of people's names. And you know what? You have to like it's 2021. There's no excuse oh. anymore to be butchering people's names. It doesn't take that much research no or a little bit of practice yeah just do a little bit of practice if you want like they teach you in school break it down by syllables g k yes you know do it by three because this is not a name that doesn't sound like how it's spelled no that makes sense yeah so when people say oh your name's tough no but you learned phonetics in school yeah so that's why i would say my name you just don't want no don't want there La, if you don't know how to say yeah. it, just break it down two, three chunks like you learn in school and then just say it like people that. Don't say it slowly. No, people don't know how to read. Slowly. People actually don't know how to if read. You're not, if people you're not, not confident about it, I would just say it a little bit slower just so you can see mm-hmm. and stuff. And like Alex said, just practice it. I would always, if I see a name that I'm like, oh my God, practice it quickly beforehand because there are names that catch you off guard. Yeah. Not African names for me. Yeah. But like there's some like Irish names and stuff like that I've seen and I've had to look twice yeah. and, and go on Google Scholar and be like, can you pronounce this for me? Yeah, because but I people no can idea. say Siobhan. The Siobhan. Well, this is the thing. Yeah. But when I look at it on there, I'm like, what What does that mean? Like, um, Or Swarovski. Yeah. I haven't like, said that correctly. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, think, I think that's how I you mean, say it. Or like Neve. Like, I think it's spelled like, N- some people spell it the Irish way, which I think is N I. A M H. Yes. So that says yes, nymph. You can say yeah to, you, me. to me. Yes. That says like nymph. Yeah, you so can I'm say like, those names correctly. Yeah. That don't uh, that are not um 
pronounced how they're spelled. Yeah. So that lets me know that as soon as you see a name that you're not familiar with, even though phonetically you can sound it out, you've just decided, oh, it's too too tough for me. I don't want to do it. Yeah. Like, or he could have just saved himself the embarrassment and just said Gina. Yeah. Gina, the aide of Matt Hancock. Yeah. Because really people aren't really... Like we, we we don't care about they we don't just really care about her surname. Yeah, we just know the tea, right? We don't know like, what's, going, what's on. going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he yeah. was caught red-handed. You, oh. know, you don't only get caught in the act. What can you really say? Yeah, like as in, <laughs> there's, nothing, there's, nothing, there's nothing to say. The evidence is there. There's nothing to say. <laughs> to say. I cannot believe it. Oh, and God, I don't Alex. even know where it was. Was it in like government building or yeah, something? Yeah, it was in Whitehall. So it was in the government building. Yeah. So, okay. So they were supposed to be observing um, social, social distancing, distancing rules. Yeah. yeah. And they they couldn't keep their hands to themselves. Yeah, they, the literally. Corridors. Literally. Right, got it. Literally. Okay. So, <laughs> the, you know what? The one thing I love about scandals that happen in the in Britain, like you, Brit- you British people, right? This is where you guys are my favourite because the memes and everything that you guys come out with, Twitter was yeah. popping off today. Like, I just absolutely... I think I wrote a, li- a, a list of... No, I think two of my favourite things that must have come out today. <laughs> Someone said... <laughs> um, Matt has done the... This is what he meant by eat out to help out. Um, saving ah! life. <laughs> I love the British. I absolutely love it. <laughs> Best believe I told my mum that this morning. I was just like, that's what they say. She was just like, oh, God, Novella. But um, saving lives, shagging wives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I saw, um, where else was the other one? Hands, face, ass. I was just like, you know what? You guys from morning, this morning, I have, I had this whole day, I haven't stopped smiling because you guys have absolutely killed uh the jokes have been fun and then Munya at the end obviously Mr King Killer himself just yeah. killed it at the end yeah. with his skit shout about it wasn't me like honestly shout out to him and his work ethic he, he never misses he never he never sleeps he doesn't sleep yeah when when he's the definition of you know he understood the assignment yeah every like, time every time every single time in fact he created the assignment <laughs> yeah Exactly. Him, him, and, <laughs> him and Dominic Cummings are the ones that that leaked the photo so that yeah. there was enough time for him to prepare to put something together. Yeah. You know? So, yeah, Dominic Cummings is, is sprinkling a little something every single week. Obviously, it's not been confirmed that it's come from him, no, but no. I just want to pin it on him. Anyway, I want to pin it. Like it, just, it just makes it... Yeah. 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 You know? It's like, like, y'all thought I was finished? Yeah. No, absolutely and, not. And what made me laugh as well was Boris Johnson saying, it's finished. It's yeah. okay. I've, you know, it's Well, done. he has to. He has to say that because I do believe Matt has probably got some things on Boris too. I believe he has to, he has no choice. The same way he defended Dominic when he was driving to the castle uh, for his eye test. Well, no, not for his eye test, when he couldn't see or whatever and stuff. And he covered for him and was just like, it's fine, yeah, and stuff. Well, we knew why uh, Mm -hmm. he was covering because... Dominic had some grenades and I feel the same about Matt. I think Matt knows a lot of things. So he's just like, boy, if I tell that guy to resign, him and him and Cummings together, it's, it's all over. It's literally all over. But jokes aside though, their family's involved in yeah, this. Yeah, because I didn't know, literally just before we yeah. started recording, I found out that she, well, I knew that she was married. Mm. She's married to some millionaire tycoon, fashion millionaire tycoon. So she has, you have money. And he's he's a he's a, a good looking guy. I think her husband is anyway. Like obviously if, if you compare Matt Hancock to the husband, like the husband wins yeah. a, a million and one yeah. and he's got a full head of hair. Okay, great. Um, and that's the other thing about the picture you can't even deny because obviously his head is yeah. like this and everybody we knows we know that hair check everybody knows his hairline yeah we know the McDonald's headlines we, oh you said we McDonald's get it. we get it <laughs> there's no respect there's no respect there's no respect, there's no there's respect. There's a, he does not respect us oh. so there is absolutely no respect for him today oh no, my no, gosh no 
So, um, yeah, yeah, there's no denying. Oh gosh, what was I saying? About the family. About the family. So, yeah, yeah, so I obviously he's married and he's got kids. Has he got three children? I think think so, yeah. I think they both do. Yeah, she's also got three kids. It's it's always quite sticky. And obviously, when I saw this in the morning, I had the. There were some um, misconceptions that I had in my head planted already. I thought that she was kind of like, you know, the young aide yeah. trying to work her way up. Yeah. So when I found out she was 43, I was like, ah, you're grown. Yeah. That's one. <laughs> Like you're a big woman. So wait, because I don't understand the school, the school boy, school girl antics in in Whitehall in the corridor. Like I don't understand. Yeah. You people couldn't. Like you guys are grown people. Yeah, you can go to a hotel. You're not telling me that you guys can't. He's Matt Hancock. He can go anywhere he wants to go. Clearly, he can do whatever it is he wants to do. Yeah. So let's be real. Like that's one. I didn't understand. I can't keep my hands to myself. We have to display this something something it's in front weird, of everybody. Isn't like, it? It's true, you know, if you yeah. look into the picture, you're absolutely right. It's just like them urges where it's just like, oh, I can't, I can't hold this any longer. At like, your big kiss age. me now. Like, At your big yeah. age. like not even in the elevator. Yeah. The elevator has well, cameras. It also has too. cameras as well, but oh, at least, on. okay, yeah, you're right. It does have it, but. At least there's something about doors being closed yes. and nobody else, like, you know, when the doors are going to open. So then you kind of distance yourself or whatever yeah. it is. But like, I just, anyway, that's one. Yeah. 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 So two, and you know, like we said, each of them has got three kids involved and, um, you know, from their marriage, from their current marriages. And it's, it's sad when obviously you've got children involved because already Matt Hancock's kids, I know they get anyway. Yeah. I know yeah. that they go to, I'm sure that they go to a prestigious school, but even in the prestigious school, they're getting bullied saying, absolutely. My, my dad says that your dad's an idiot. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. My, my dad says that your dad's a buffoon. Yeah. You know, yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah. Wherever it is that they go yeah, to school. Yeah. yeah. So they, they're already dealing with that day to day. They already have to deal with you as their dad. Yeah. Like, they're already blaming you for COVID and all that, even though they, they've managed to rectify the problem. Um, it seems. And now they're going to go to school on Monday and this is going to be the talk of the town. It's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. And even all these newspapers have now, they've come and mentioned her kids. I know. So now they're mentioning her kids and her kids are going to come and get it on Monday. Like, yeah, yeah. It's just embarrassing. Mm. And especially embarrassing as the husband and the wife. Like, as Matt Hancock's wife, right? You've probably spent the last year trying to poorly defend your husband. You know, when you're going to those tea parties. When you're going to the ladies' nights, yeah. Yeah. And like, oh, you know, like Mrs. Hancock and stuff. And you're like, oh no, he's doing such a great job. And, you know, he, he works to the best of his abilities. And it's just like, well, all them times where he was told. Telling you he was working late. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm sorry, but how during this pandemic, how did he have time? He's the health secretary, Alex. How did he have time to have a main chick? He was stressed and a side chick. And he needed to find a way to relieve the stress. What? Who had time? He did. But that aside, Jesus. Because he he didn't do his job well, so clearly. Well, yeah, he had time, right? He had time. Yeah, so yeah. But it's just the embarrassment, right? Being the wife or the husband. Mm -hmm. Like, why would you do that? Mm -hmm. Like, have some like (laughs) decor or something where (sighs) especially when you know you're in the public eye. Mm -hmm. And uh and the the picture just every time I've pictured that picture. Like it just gives me like you especially with his hand on her bum. It's the hand on the bum for me. It's the hand on the bum for me. If you see the state of that body, like it's just, ah. just it's just, it's just, it's just the, it was yeah, like a child, like the first it's, it's time really, he'd ever been it's kissed really before. Given school boy and school yeah. girl. Yeah, it's really given school boy and school girl. You know, but. I just, I just can't. I, I can't. honestly just can't. With yeah, him. I'm just thinking, like, how do you, how do we? Obviously, we will move past this, but how do we move past this? Because it's so difficult. It's like next week Friday is going to be something else. Yeah, wasn't it last week Friday with them with the WhatsApp messages? With yeah, the hopeless and stuff. Yeah. So now next week Friday, what's it going to be? Well, Dominic has still got his text messages. He hasn't released them all. I believe Dominic has got loads. 
I feel like for every every Friday there's for every Friday there's a WhatsApp from Dominic. Friday Fridays with Dominic. Yeah, Fridays Fridays with Dominic. Exactly. Oh my god. Yeah, but it's just it's just disgusting. It really is. Do you think he should have resigned? Or do you think it up. yeah, or do you think it's not that serious? It is serious. Yeah. It is serious because you are the health secretary. Yeah. You are, is he like second or third in command? Yeah. You are a husband. Yeah. You have children. Yeah. And moreover, you were the health sef- secretary. And during this COVID period, yeah. one of the main things that was preached was social distancing. Yeah. And you clearly didn't social distance. And this is not you social distancing from your family yeah. or from your wife. This is from... Uh, a mistress who lives in a whole other household and has a whole husband of her own and has children of her own. So I think that's what it is. I think that there's so many layers to this one event. And ultimately it's that do as I say, not as I do. I will be able to do whatever it is I want to do. And you guys just have to get on with it. And that's that, Yeah, you know? And it's kind of like, I do feel...